And welcome back. So are you thinking about cooling off with a dip at your local public pool this weekend? Well, the CDC warning that water may not be as clean as you think it is, with 80% of public pools violating standard health and safety codes. So, Dr. Siegel, we start with you on this. Um, what should we do? And is there some sort of kit we can get, not to be like a crazy mom, that you can stick like a, like a litmus test type thing where you can stick a piece of, I don't know, paper in the water to see if it's clean or not? That's a great point, and I'll get to that exact thing in a second. But let me tell you, this is a mess. A year ago, the CDC pointed out that there's a parasite growing in a lot of these pools that chlorine doesn't even kill. I got to tell the truth here. I mean, this is a mess. 80% of pools don't make health standards. Now, what you can do is you cannot go in the pool if you're sick. You know, if you're having diarrhea, you don't go in the pool. If your kids are thinking it's a playground, don't let them go in because you're spreading it to other people. It's a public health hazard. Arthel, you made a great point. You can actually buy a kit. You want to test the chlorine yourself. It's got to be one part per million in pools, three part per million in hot tubs. Bromine should be three part per million in pools, four part per million in hot tubs, and the pH should be between 7.2 and 7.8. You can get a dipstick that tests that. Unfortunately, even under those circumstances. Yeah, you said the chlorine doesn't kill the bacteria. Some right. of them it doesn't. So right. even if you test it, which I'm saying you should do, take a shower before and afterwards, right. keep people who are sick out of the pool, even under those circumstances, I have to confess, I'm not going in any public pools. I, I, you're shaking your head. Well, I think if you have to bring the entire chemistry lab and test the water, it's just not worth it. And this study that uh, CDC would just talked about, they looked at about 48,000 public uh, uh, hot bath and swimming pools and California, New York, Florida and Texas, they all fail. Wow. If 80% of them have feces, this is a gross topic, right. you know, but if they have like E. coli, they have feces, right. they have a lot of body parasites in them that chlorine is not going to uh, take care of them, they all failed. So the message is out there is, you know, if certainly one of your kids have immune deficiency or if you have immune deficiency, I would not get involved in any of this. And the message to a lot of people that use these public pools, Please take a shower because there's a lot of parasites and bacteria in your body that can affect other people. And what they also studied is in the first 10 minutes when people jump in the pool, that's when there's a lot of urine and E. coli that's resistant to chloride. So Here's another tip. Make sure the drain is clean at the deep end of the pool. Right. You want clear water, not just for this reason, because the lifeguard who better be on duty in the pool can actually save somebody. You've got to be able to see to the bottom of the pool. I had a patient last week who said, I spent a fortune on a hot tub, but I can't keep the chemicals right. He got right. rid of it. It's so hard to keep well, these Well, the safe. other thing is if you have, that's an important point, if you have any cut or abrasion, right. that's a place where a lot of these bacteria can get in. Or if you have to go to these public places, make sure you cover them. And also, if you can avoid any swallowing of the water, right, it's the way to go. Look at this beautiful picture here. You got a hot tub, uh, whirlpool, and but you saw in the distance there the ocean. Are, are we better off taking a dip in the ocean? No question about it. Yep. By the way, you saw that woman in the picture there. She just had her feet dangling in. Right. That's fine. Put your feet in the hot tub and then go swimming in the ocean. Right. Again, providing there's a lifeguard on duty. Keep your kids inside at all times. Don't let people go into deep water. These are really important points. Have those survival but in terms tools. Of have those survival tools. The, the, the ocean is actually better. Much cleaner. It yeah, cleans it's itself. It's and it's much, also much cleaner. Salt much involved. Cleaner. Look, Gary, we don't want to scare people because it's Memorial Day weekend. But if you go there once or twice, nothing bad will happen. If you're the type that will go to a lot of these public uh, pools, maybe you should invest in something small, one of these, like, uh, whatever. Small That's what I was going to ask you. Not house. quite a kiddie pool, but like, yeah, a portable a bigger pool. Ones. And yes, they're reasonable. It was, and it, yeah, it's worth, well, it's a Don't good Don't go investment. diving into those things, though. The, yeah. the four foot. By the way, I said the ocean's cleaner. Maybe certain parts of the Bronx are an exception. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bronx is always an exception. <laughs> I am not talking uh, bad about the Bronx. That's yeah. it. Uh,